This is the full Windsor knot. Start by grabbing the wide end of the tie in your right hand and the narrow end in your left hand. Start by crossing the wide end of the tie in front of the narrow end. And then take the wide end up through the loop around your neck behind the narrow end of the tie. Once you pull this through, you want to end up on the left side of the tie. Now again grab the wide end of the tie and cross it behind the narrow end ending on the right side. Now take the wide end of the tie and go up and over the loop around your neck and down through the loop ending on the right side. Now cross the wide end in front of the narrow end and come up and under the loop around your neck and then once you pull the tie out now come down through the loop in the front of the tie. To successfully tie this tie it's best to keep all these motions with the tie being snug so that your knot stays small and concentrated. Hello and welcome to my tutorial for this, the rose knot. Something that I came up with after trying to find something that didn't just look like a triangle. Let me show you how it's done. The first step is to pop your collar and get a tie, as with any tie knot. The next is to bring the tie so that the fat end rests at your waist. So I think you can see that. But trust me, it's there. Then you want to put a dimple in it, like so, and you're ready to go. And this is because this tie is a little different, so much as you actually have to wrap around the thin end, as opposed to the, where'd it go? The fat end, here. So you just saw the first move here, and that is to just bring it around like that. Then you want to move that thin end and pass it through the top while holding the dimple. That makes sure that it's that makes sure that it's nice and good. Then you end up with this triangle thing, and that is the base for the rest of the knot. So you want to pass the tie over that and then up. The second weird thing is that you actually have to then reopen that so that you can put your finger through it like that, and then bring the tie through that. And that's what gives it the weaved look. Take the thin end that you just passed through here, as you can see, and bring it back down through the hole in the back. Now you're going to need to tighten this mess up, and the way you do that is that you pull down on the right side of the triangle, that brings in this here. And then you want to pull up on the top of the triangle, and that brings in that. You may need to do that a couple of times, but it's fairly quick. All right. Then you're left with that here, which looks good in its, in its own right, but unfortunately we have this hanging off and we can't just leave it here. So what we're going to do is open up a loop, do the same basic principle as before, and pass it through. This time we bring it straight down. Now you're left with something like that, with this hanging off the left side. Now we can't just leave it here because it's right in the way. So what we're going to do is instead of passing it down, is we're actually going to hide it inside our collar by hiding it behind the rest of the tie. Let's put it there, and as you can see, it holds itself fairly well. So if you happen to be moving a lot, 
out during the night, that's not going anywhere. So once you're like that, you are pretty much golden. You bring down the collar and there you have the rose knot. Now to adjust this, you want to pull on the fat end and that brings it up here. And most of the time you're going to be ending up with something kind of like what I have here where it's all wrinkly. Now one way you can get rid of that, or at least help get rid of some of it, is to get a headphone jack and just put it in there, and just slide it around trying to flatten it out. As you can see it's just a little bit better. And another thing you can do is put your thumb on the back and support the knot on all three of its sides with your fingers and push forward and that plumps it up and that fleshes out any of the remaining bumps. Well, at least most of them. It's never going to be perfect, perfect, but you can get pretty darn close. So now you put it in your vest, or just let it drape inside your jacket, and there you go. That there is how you tie the rose knot. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is William Coe and I'm going to show you how to tie the scrunchie or wedding cravat. First off, do up your top button on your wing collar shirt. Could be a standard wing or a deep wing depending on how you want to wear it. Now, it goes round the collar and roughly where one of the blades comes up and fattens out, that should be level with one of the your top button. And then it's very straightforward. You take one end over the other, round the back, round the front, come up from the back, pull all the way through, try not to pull the knot too tight because you want a nice big ruffled knot, you take the shorter blade, push it through the front, pull down and then just pull up to cover your top button. You might need to look in the mirror at this point or get someone to help you. And what, don't worry about the blade lengths because they'll all be tucked under the waistcoat that will come up at least to here. All we're interested in doing is making sure we've got a nice, rich, large knot that covers your top button and makes the whole scrunch look attractive. And there we go. Hello, my name's William Kerr and I'm going to show you the easy way to tie an adjustable bow tie. All bow ties, well most bow ties are adjustable, so the easy way to tie it in the first instance is to let it all the way out and you'll see why as we go through the demonstration. So this effectively fits in by collar size and it just slips into there. If you take it out and let it all the way out it makes tying the bow tie a lot easier. Right, tie is obviously the same either end, two blades, so therefore it goes round the neck and it doesn't matter which end you start, whichever is more comfortable. So where the blade, you make sure that's not twisted, where the blade comes onto the tie, bring that by the your top button. Then all you do is take long over short and take your long up. Pull tight. Forget your long. You form your bow, and you can either form your bow either way, it doesn't matter. You form your bow like that, and then you drop your long over the front. By doing so, you create a hole here. That is where you need to pass the bow tie through. You've got a single on this side and a double on this side. So all you want to do is get to the other double behind the single and through the hole. The double is here and you create that by putting your finger into the blade and you pull through. Now I've done all of this by touch because it's easier to do it by touch rather than to do it in the mirror because obviously in the mirror everything is the wrong way around. I then got single double double single. You then have a little play to make sure you're happy with the shape of your bow tie which feels without looking in a mirror about right. I then pull down here to tighten. I've then got the tie and all you need to do then is to tighten it and the easiest way to do that is to get someone just to come in and tighten it on the inside again to bring it tight so it's tight to the top button and they can flick it in that hole for you and then you've done it.
there we go. Bring that round to the front, make sure the wing is over the bow, covering the top button, there you go. The easy way to tie a bow tie.